Have you ever heard someone say, just go for a walk, it's the best thing you can do for your health? Of course, walking is wonderful. It clears the mind, improves circulation, and keeps you active. But let's be brutally honest here. If you're over 50, if you're past 60, and especially if you're in your 70s and beyond, walking alone is not enough. Walking does not build significant muscle. Walking will not stop the muscle loss that creeps in silently year after year. Walking won't fight off sarcopenia, the age-related muscle wasting that robs people of their strength, their independence, and eventually their very dignity. And that's the truth no one talks about enough. So today, I'm going to share with you something far more powerful. Forget walking as your main exercise. I'm going to reveal the two simple home exercises that are backed by science, proven by research, and effective for building real muscle at any age. These two movements don't require a gym membership. They don't need fancy equipment, and you can do them right in your living room. And more importantly, they target the exact muscles that keep you strong, mobile, and independent for the rest of your life. Welcome to Unshakable Health. This is the place where science meets motivation, where wisdom meets action, and where we cut through the myths about aging, longevity, and health span. If you're ready to discover how to live stronger, longer, and healthier than ever before, you're in the right place. Now let's dive deep, because today's message might just save you from weakness, frailty, and loss of independence in your later years. First, let's talk about why this even matters. You see, sarcopenia is not just a big, fancy medical term. It's a real enemy that affects every single one of us as we get older. From the age of 30 onward, if you do nothing, you lose about 3-5% of your muscle mass every single decade. And once you hit 60, that rate of loss accelerates. That's why you see so many people in their 70s and 80s struggling to get out of a chair, stumbling on stairs, or unable to carry their groceries. It's not because they're lazy it's because their muscles have literally withered away and no one ever taught them how to fight it. Now, here's the harsh reality. Sarcopenia doesn't just make you weaker. It increases your risk of falls, fractures, hospitalization, and even early death. Studies have shown that seniors with low muscle mass have higher mortality rates, meaning they don't just lose their strength, they lose years off their lives. But here's the beautiful news. Muscle is not just a young person's game. You can build muscle at 60, you can build muscle at 70, you can even build muscle at 90. Science has proven this again and again. Your body is still capable of growth and repair as long as you give it the right stimulus. And the stimulus is resistance challenging your muscles to work against something. Now here's where the magic happens. There are two exercises that stand above the rest. Two movements that science says are the kings and queens of anti-sarcopenia training. They are the squat and the push-up. Simple, powerful, timeless, Let's start with the squat. Imagine for a second the everyday tasks you wanna keep doing as you age, sitting down and standing up from a chair, getting up off the toilet, picking something up from the ground, climbing stairs. Every single one of those movements is basically a squat. When you train squats, you're not just building muscle, you're practicing the exact pattern that keeps you independent. Without squats, you eventually need someone to help you off the couch. With squats, you maintain freedom. And the science is crystal clear. Studies from the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research show that squats engage the largest muscles in your body, your quadriceps, glutes, hamstrings, and even your core. Training these muscles doesn't just make your legs stronger. It boosts your metabolism, improves your balance, and strengthens your bones. Squatting literally reverses the clock on aging. Now, you might be thinking, but I can't do a squat, not like those young athletes. That's okay. A squat doesn't have to be fancy. You can start by doing sit to stands from a sturdy chair. That is a squat. You can hold on to a countertop for balance. That is still a squat. The key is consistency, not perfection. Every time you rise from a chair under your own power, you are fighting sarcopenia. And the best part is you can do it at home anytime. No excuses. Now let's move to the second exercise, the push-up. At first glance, it might seem too simple or maybe too hard, depending on where you are. But let me tell you, push-ups are one of the most powerful anti-aging tools we have. They train your chest, shoulders, arms, and core. But more importantly, they train something called pushing strength. Why does that matter? Because pushing yourself up off the floor or pushing open a heavy door or catching yourself if you trip all rely on pushing strength. Research from the American Journal of Preventive Medicine has even shown that the ability to do push-ups predicts heart health and overall survival. In fact, middle-aged men who could do 40 push-ups were found to have dramatically lower risk of cardiovascular disease compared to those who could do fewer than 10. That's not just about muscle, that's about life expectancy. Now again, don't get stuck on the idea of the perfect push-up. 
Can't do a full push up on the floor, no problem. Start with wall push ups, then progress to countertop push ups, then to knee push ups. Every step still builds strength, and each time you do it, you are giving your muscles the resistance they crave. So let's pause here. Squats and push ups. Two simple moves, no equipment, no gym membership, just you and your determination. And here's a deeper point. They are compound movements, meaning they work multiple muscles at once. That makes them incredibly efficient, which is exactly what you want if you're short on time or energy. A few sets of squats and push-ups done consistently can outperform hours of walking when it comes to building muscle and protecting against sarcopenia. Now, some of you might be wondering, but is it walking good for me? Absolutely. Walking is excellent for cardiovascular health, stress relief, and general movement. But here's the truth. Walking does not provide enough resistance to stimulate muscle growth. Walking will maintain endurance, but it will not stop muscle wasting. Think about it. Have you ever seen someone gain visible muscle just from walking? Probably not. But even a few weeks of squats and push-ups can visibly transform your body. This is why science is shifting. More and more research is showing that resistance training is the true key to longevity. The Harvard School of Public Health has published studies showing that strength training reduces risk of premature death more than cardio alone. In other words, the stronger you are, the longer you live. That's not motivation, that's science. And this is where the story gets inspiring. I want you to picture two different futures. In one, you keep doing only light walking, over time, your legs weaken, your arms shrink, and one day you find yourself needing help with the most basic tasks. In the other future, you embrace resistance. You build strength slowly, steadily, with squats and push-ups. You stay strong enough to get off the floor, to carry your groceries, to play with your grandkids, to live independently into your 80s and 90s. Which future do you want? The choice is yours and the beauty is it's never too late. I once read about a study where people in their 90s started resistance training and still gained muscle. Imagine that, at an age when most people are told to just accept weakness, their bodies were still capable of growth. If they can do it, what excuse do the rest of us have? But let's talk about motivation for a moment. Because knowing what to do is one thing, but actually doing it is another. We are creatures of habit. It's easy to say, I'll start tomorrow. But here's the truth. Every day you delay, sarcopenia is quietly eating away at your strength. Every day you sit instead of squat or avoid that push-up, you lose a little more independence. But every day you choose to move, you're reclaiming your future. So start small, do five chair squats today, do five wall push-ups, that's it. Tomorrow do six, build slowly. Progress doesn't have to be dramatic, it just has to be consistent. Remember, consistency beats intensity when it comes to longevity. It's not about doing 100 squats in a day and burning out. It's about doing a few every day without fail until they become as natural as brushing your teeth. Now, I want to connect this to something bigger. Muscle is not just about looking strong. Muscle is your armor against aging. Did you know that muscle tissue is one of the most important regulators of your metabolism? The more muscle you have, the better your body controls blood sugar. That means lower risk of diabetes. The more muscle you have, the stronger your bones become. That means lower risk of osteoporosis. The more muscle you have, the better your body fights inflammation. That means longer health span, not just lifespan. And here's something really fascinating. Muscle is now recognized as an endocrine organ. That means when you contract your muscles through resistance exercise, they actually release special molecules called myokinines. These myokinines travel through your blood and improve your brain health, your heart health, and even your immune system. In other words, when you squat and push up, you are not just training your body. You are literally sending healing signals throughout your entire system. Isn't that incredible? So let's break down the excuses. I don't have time. Really? Squats and push-ups can be done in less than five minutes. I don't have equipment. Perfect. You don't need any. I'm too old. Science has proven age is not a barrier. The only barrier is the decision not to try. Think about this. One day, years from now, you might find yourself sitting in a chair, looking back at your life. Will you be proud that you invested in your strength, that you fought off sarcopenia, that you maintained your independence? Or will you regret that you let your muscles fade, that you settled for weakness? The actions you take today decide that future. And this is why unshakable health exists, to remind you that you have power.
to remind you that health is not about quick fixes or fads, but about consistent science-backed habits. To remind you that you are stronger than you think and that your body is capable of far more than you've been told. So let me leave you with this challenge. Tonight, before you go to bed, do just five squats from a chair. Tomorrow morning, do five wall push-ups. Start there, track it, celebrate it. And as the weeks go by, watch your strength return. Watch your energy rise. Watch your confidence grow. Because this is not about exercise. This is about freedom. This is about being able to live on your own terms without relying on others. This is about making your body unshakable. And the next time someone tells you that walking is enough, you'll know the truth. Walking is good, but squats and push-ups are better. Walking moves you, but resistance training transforms you. Walking keeps you alive, but building muscle keeps you thriving. And I promise you this, if you commit to these two exercises done consistently, you will not just fight sarcopenia. You will defeat it. You will build strength. You will extend your health span, and you will prove to yourself that aging does not mean weakness. Thank you for spending this time with me. If this message inspired you, if it opened your eyes to a new way of looking at health, then join our growing community here at Unshakable Health. Subscribe today because every week we bring you powerful science-backed strategies to build strength, extend longevity, and reclaim vitality. Together, we're not just surviving, we're thriving. Now it's your turn. Forget walking as your only strategy. Start squatting, start pushing, start building, and become unshakable.